What's up everyone, this is Danny from Plug and Play. Today, we're going to be going over our brand new tool called Outlines. Outlines is a super simple way to just add any type of outline strokes to whatever layer you want inside of After Effects. Now, traditionally, doing this inside of After Effects natively is kind of tricky. There's not really a great way to do it, especially if you just want to use one layer. So we went ahead, packaged it all up into one simple effect you can drop on any layer inside of After Effects and automatically generate these nice, slick looking, customizable stroke effects. Outlines is available exclusively through Plug and Play. Plug and Play is a new all access platform for After Effects users. You sign up, you get access to our growing catalog of After Effects tools and assets and resources. We're just trying to create like a one stop shop that any type of motion designer can come, find a bunch of tools that will enhance their workflow, generate new cool effects, uh, and just overall inspire creativity. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the tutorial and I'll get you all some ideas on how you can implement outlines into your day-to-day -day animation life. Great. So let's go over to this first composition here. And as you can see, I have this simple little ice cream animation scaling up, ice cream's coming on, super fun, great. Uh, so I want to add some outlines to this effect or to this layer because, you know, it's ice cream. It looked really cool with some outlines around it. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead, select my two layers and pre-compose them. And now we're going to go and look up the effect alpha outline. So one quick note, we actually just released an update renaming the effect to be outlines instead of alpha outline. So uh, yeah, you can just search outline once you've installed the, the plugin and get access to it that way. Keep in mind, this tool is in beta mode right now. So if there's any bugs that pop up, please let us know. We'll do our best to get them fixed as quickly as possible. Thanks to you all for helping with this debugging process and for testing out all of our tools, making sure that we're creating products that users in our space enjoy using and uh, are robust and don't break. So cool. Let's go ahead and drag this effect on top of our new pre-count. And right away, we get these 10 different outline strokes generated around the alpha of that uh, pre-count. When you're using this tool, you need to have some sort of alpha channel enabled. And as you can see, if I uh, turn off this effect, you can see that there is alpha behind this pre-count. So at the top, you have the number of outlines you want to generate. You can generate anywhere between zero and 10. Below that, we have a size slider. So this will control how large or how tiny you want the different strokes to be. And below that, we also have a decay parameter. So if you want to have an incrementally growing stroke width or incrementally decreasing stroke width, you can utilize this decay. So if we crank this up, the end strokes on the outside are the thinnest here. If we want to do the inverse of that, we can just drag it into the negative section. And now we have this incrementally growing stroke width on our layer here. So that's super fun. Now we can drop down into this colors group here. And inside of here, we have a, a toggle for utilizing random colors. Inside of outlines, we've implemented this nice little system to just generate a bunch of different random colors. And it's super fun to just go inside of this random color seed, start clicking around and seeing all the different types of color palettes that you can generate just randomly. Uh, so this is all seeded. You can go ahead, just generate a bunch of these, figure out which one you like the most. I'm kind of liking that one. If we want more fine control, we can go inside of this outline drop down here and inside of here, if we toggle off this random color and we can go ahead and just change like the color of some of these strokes here. Maybe I want this yellow one to be a little bit different yellow, maybe a little bit more vibrant. This one maybe change your different hue. So you can get an idea of just how quickly you can go ahead and change around these different outlines, play around with a different coloring, uh, you know, experiment with the size and the decay. And it's all really easy to use, right? You just drop this on top of a layer with an alpha channel. And next thing you know, you've got all these beautiful outlines around your layer. Let's move over to the next example here. Uh, so this one's a footage file and I've gone ahead and I've applied a key light to the footage, got rid of the, the green screen. And so now we have this alpha footage layer here. So this is great. I'm going to go ahead and as you can see, I've already created an adjustment layer here, uh, but I can also just put it straight onto uh, this footage file. But I'm gonna go ahead and add it to this uh, adjustment layer 
just drop it on here. As you can see, boom, right off the bat, we have all of these different outlines generated. Super fun. But let's go ahead and play with the outline sizing a bit. Maybe I want this to be a little bit bigger. So let's say 40. And then I'm going to go ahead and crank down this decay here. You know, you can almost get like this effect where it is growing larger and kind of like sucking you in. It almost looks like it's offset in Z space a little bit. But let's go ahead, drop down to the colors here. And I'm just going to be using my arrow key here, going through the different color seeds that we have until I find something that I resonate with that looks good on this footage. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and utilize this one. So we're done. I mean, it's really easy to use. This isn't a you know crazy in-depth tutorial. It's just really simple, really fun to use, easy way to spice up any type of you know, asset that you have in After Effects that has an alpha channel. It looks pretty sweet on footage layers. It's super dynamic, really easy to use. Like I said, we're literally just dropping an effect on this footage layer. Uh, and we've got some pretty sweet results. So let's go ahead and move to the third example. This is going to be the last one. Uh, but this one's really simple. It's just going to be some text here. And I've got it kind of animating up and then animating back down and scale and tracking and some other parameters here. But let's go ahead, add alpha outlines. And I'm going to show you guys uh, one of the caveats to this effect. So right now the effect is clipped to the bounds of the layer. Obviously this is not what we're looking for here. And there's a couple of ways that we can get around this. First of which is by pre-composing the selected layer or layers. And that's what we did with the ice cream effect. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and actually look up an effect called motion tile. And we can go ahead, drop this on here, and I'm going to bring it right above this alpha outlines effect. And as soon as we add that motion tile effect without even having to play with the parameters, uh, it's going to expand the bounds of the layer. We'll be able to avoid any clipping that we had originally. So that's a nice little hack to kind of get around the clipping issue. But yeah, like I said, this is still in beta mode. So a lot of these bugs will be figured out by the time uh, we get some more feedback and do some more iterations to the product. Right off the bat, have a nice looking effect here. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the colors. Let's go ahead and find a color palette that I like. Maybe that looks pretty cool, sweet. And then we can go ahead, play with the decay a little bit, maybe play with the sizing a bit. Yeah, and just kind of play around, get a feel for things. I love the uh, random color seed because it's super fun to just go through this and find different color palettes that might work for your effect. One more thing that I want to mention to you all before we sign off here. Uh, when you are using this effect, you need to be in GPU rendering mode on After Effects. If you go to File, Project Settings, or you can just click on this Color Depth button here, and this is going to pull up the project settings, go over to Video Rendering and Effects, make sure that you are on the GPU acceleration. Uh, so it's metal for uh, Mac, but there's a similar parameter inside of Windows just make sure you're on GPU rendering or else you will see a black screen. Yeah, super simple tool, not much to it, but it's really fun. So if you get a chance, uh, throw it on some different layers.